I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we have this Bluetooth speaker that's in. Um, this was actually my mom's, and what's happened with it is the micro USB port has completely broken loose. And it's just laying loose inside this speaker. And that's probably the one thing that micro USB ports are infamous for is snapping right off the PCB. Um, they are just, they were, they were designed this way for the sake of being slim. But in certain devices like this, a mini USB port would have worked just fine. The micros, however, they're, um, of course, they were common in, in smartphones, but they're still common in a lot of various devices, and of course, a USB-C is a much better port. Um, it's definitely more dur um, durable and rugged than the micro USB. I mean, they just, the micro USBs just don't hold up, so we're going to have a look inside this thing and try to get that piece of broken uh, USB port out of there and I may consider trying to install a new one so I'm going to first try taking the screws out of the sides see if we can get access that way So one thing I noticed while I was looking at this thing was the device claimed to have uh, 2200 milliamp hours of capacity. So makes me wonder if it's got an 18650 in there or if it's got a lipo pouch cell. We shall see. Of course this thing used Allen screws on the outside. <clears throat> okay, that just takes off the grill. And of course we got this uh, got this silicone rubber, what do you want to call it? membrane around the entire thing <clears throat> it's a matter of getting that off so that way we can get inside the actual device so I gotta flip this over and take these four additional screws out. And now we have additional screws to get into the speaker. First we gotta get this red cover off and out of the way. It's safe to say this thing's been carried around quite a bit and used. And my mom is a mail carrier and of course the mail trucks do not have a built-in radio you provide your own basically all right so we got let's see one two three four five six screws to take out 
you're going to want to use a precision a precision screwdriver to get at those. One that's long. Okay, let's see if this will split apart. Huh. So it looks like they also glued the thing together. They really don't want you getting into this thing, do they? Listen to that. I think what it is, is this was supposed to be a watertight slash waterproof, you name it, kind of deal. So I think it's safe to say it's not going to be waterproof anymore. <laughs> but there's not too much to this thing. You have, um, as I suspected, we got an 18650 in here running this entire operation. And right over here in the corner is our broken USB header. Try to get that out of there. So right here guys, there, there she be. Got a nice broken surface mount USB micro B header. So, um, I'll show you where it goes on the PCB. Well, first, let me take this battery out of here because it's actually removable. Um, you can unplug it. And I think to be safe to unplug it while we um, have this thing apart. So, there's your 18650 cell. It's uh, probably got a little protection PCB on there. <clears throat> Assuming the label on the device is correct, this is a 2200 milliamp hour cell, probably lithium cobalt. Anyways, put that to the side. Um, so, right here is the circuit board that runs this entire operation. And again, this is a Bluetooth portable speaker. <clears throat> You've got, uh, actually, Oh, so what they did what they done here is there's actually two speakers in here. And of course, uh this thing's airtight, so when these speakers up here operate, of course you <laughs> what's on the other side also flexes too. Here's you a close look at the PCB. And right where my finger is, see right there is where the micro USB header used to go. And it looks like, um, it's hard to say, as long as the traces are there, it looks like the traces are intact. We just might be able to salvage this thing. We, we might be able to um, fix it. Now, we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to reinstall the existing micro USB mini B header uh, because obviously it's broken. But what I might do is uh, I think we have some extras of these at my place of work. I might pick one up and um, I'll take out this circuit board. It'd be pretty easy to do actually. It's got um, everything's just plugged in. Got an LED and the two speakers are all plugged into the board. I can take the board right out. Um, and I may attempt uh, installing a new USB header on this. It'd be nice to be able to actually f fix this up. Um, Mom Dunn said she bought her a new one. She didn't pay hardly anything for this one anyway. 
Um, but it'd be cool though to actually fix it and get it working. And it's a shame that's uh, of course the that's just the deal these days with these with these stupid USB headers. These uh, micro USB, you can see this is all uh, this is it's all jacked up. Um, so guys, you gotta be careful with these things. Any device that has one of these, um, these just simply if they will not hold up to abuse. Um, so when you go to plug in the charge cable or whatever, don't plug in with with excessive force and don't rip it out in a hurry either because uh, that will damage these things. I mean this thing, it's the thing is broken pretty well. You can you may be able to see. I mean it's just it's not doing too well. You can see the five uh, contacts there, and of course, there's a couple of contacts on the edge. And like I say, I may be able to, to uh, I may be able to install a new one, but if I can't, oh well. Um, if I'm able to success uh, to successfully repair this, um, there will be a part two video to this. But the, um, at least to wrap up this video, um, that is a uh, teardown, sort of, uh, of this Bluetooth speaker. If you ever wondered what was inside one of these, well, there you have it. This is what's inside when you got your PCB, you got your case, you got, of course, your speakers, and you got a uh, battery. And this is, of course, a... Uh, 18650 of course I got a bunch of these here because I power my devices with them but uh, I'll show you for example if you've never seen a bare 18650 before this is basically what's inside this uh, shrink wrap and everything and this one, pro this one probably has a little circuit board on top of here uh, for uh, protection So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cute Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.